This is such a suspenseful moment. I wonder if Marge is going to pick Homer or that strange man she just met this episode. It's a mystery man. Hi, I'm Torin, and welcome to Torin Loves the Simpsons. Today, we are looking at Season 1, Episode 9, Life on the Fast Lane, an episode where Homer pisses Marge off by trying to give himself a gift for her birthday by giving her a bowling ball she doesn't want. But Marge, out of spite, actually accepts the gift, leading to her meeting a man at the bowling alley who puts the moves on her, and it almost works. Let's dive in. Let's start with the humor. This episode is rather low-key with its humor, but there are some really great moments. Homer running off to the mall at the beginning marks the birth of a pretty important gag in the show's repertoire, where a character makes an excuse to go outside and then we hear them drive off in a hurry. That gag sees plenty of use later on, most notably for Leonard Nimoy's exit in The Springfield Files, and I think this is a pretty good introduction for that gag. The singing waiters are very nice. It's a funny idea to begin with, and the way they build up from the predictable wedding anniversary at the first table to the kinda wacky pregnancy at the second table to the completely unexpected memorial service at the third table is great. This is most certainly the kind of absurd sensibility we can expect in an episode written by John Schwartzwelder. Jacques' explanation of brunch is a classic joke that I think has shaped a large portion of the U.S. population's understanding of what brunch is. I'm pretty sure if you ask some rando on the street about brunch, they'll know it ends with cantaloupe. That's just common knowledge. But yeah, so this episode has some really solid comedic moments. I think it's a bit too restrained, though. This is a problem all over season one, and that's why we haven't seen any episodes got an S for humor so far, because the humor is so infrequent. When they go for jokes, they generally land well, but the jokes are so few and far between, and they most certainly haven't started fine-tuning the pacing that makes the later seasons great. I think the jokes we do have deserve A tier, but low A tier, so this is getting an A- minus for humor. As for the plot, we start off by establishing Homer as a not entirely sympathetic figure in the marriage, with Bart and Lisa making breakfast in bed as a nice point of reference for them to contrast Homer against. They continue to establish Homer as a problem when he gives Marge a friggin' bowling ball as a present, and in the beginning of Act 2, Homer digs his own grave further in the bedroom scene where he reveals he truly didn't expect Marge to use the ball. Since Act 1 is so short and the bedroom scene is the beginning of the next act, I'll call the bedroom scene spiritually a part of Act 1. So basically in the first act, we've done a great job of establishing Homer is negligent at best in this marriage. Even though this is a Marge episode, in the end, it's an episode that's more about who Homer is than who Marge is. In Act 2, we explore how Marge meets and starts to become seduced by Jacques. Jacques is most definitely a gigantic asshole who needs to learn how to take no for an answer, but he's a charming asshole, and we can really see why Marge gets worn down. And of course, Act 3 is where things really happen. We get a moment to examine how the situation affects Bart and Lisa, which is an important side to a marital crisis, and I'm glad the episode took the time to explore that. We also get the culmination of Jacques' advances, and Homer pretty much takes notice just barely in time and says something just meaningful enough to Marge to save his marriage. And the Marge driving sequence where she sees all the reminders of marriage and partnership and etc. does some excellent visual storytelling and offers the opportunity for the recognition Homer gave her to sink in, as small as that recognition was. On one level, it bothers me how they end things without addressing the very real problems in their relationship, because Marge deserves so much more than one scene where Homer appreciates Marge's sandwich-making abilities. But on another level, I do find it fitting that they leave things so unresolved, because, well, Homer certainly continues to be problematic, as we'll explore further in episodes like The War of the Simpsons and Homer Alone, to name the soonest upcoming. So I guess it fits with how f***ed up their relationship is. This plot is very mature. It does a really balanced and thorough job of examining how both Marge and Homer, as well as Bart and Lisa, feel and react to the situation. It builds and escalates nicely in Act 3, and it feels quite satisfying, asterisk, to see Marge choose Homer. Jacques makes an excellent villain, and the show is careful not to make Homer look too much like a hero. Really, Marge is the hero here, as she often is. But as for how the plot ranks, I think they did a really amazing job with this episode, and I'm giving it an S. 
And some other little tidbits of note, I think this episode is the first time Marge calls Bart her special little guy, which persists long term. Also, this head-on shot of Jacques in the mirror is so weird, and it kind of reminds me of John Arbuckle, not gonna lie. And now for the final rating. We have an A- for humor and an S for plot. This episode is more of a drama than a sitcom, but it's kind of a blend, and while I think the S-tier plot is very impressive, I don't think it's enough to carry the episode into S-tier overall, because the humor isn't quite there. I'm giving this episode an A-plus overall. Like I said before, this episode certainly leaves things open for more episodes later on where Homer is still a bad husband, and I think it does a great job of establishing what kind of marriage he and Marge have. Homer's not malicious, but he most certainly takes far more than he gives in the marriage, and this is the first time in the series that we've really taken a look at that, and it's something the show nailed right away. This is the same Homer and Marge we know from the later seasons, and the dynamics of their marriage pretty consistently follow in this framework. So this is a pretty important episode. Just like the last episode, I don't think this one is a classic, but I think it's great and worth watching. As always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification bell. Up next, we actually have another Marriage Crisis episode, Homer's Night Out, so I will see you in that video.